The concept for compassion was created around a dialogue that is taking place within Ballarat, which uh, is potentially very exciting. The notion that the, the Council has signed the Global Charter for Compassion during the week in which the concert took place. And from emerging artists from the Arts Academy through to established professional artists such as Lior and Dunja Lavrova, who was um, leading the orchestra, uh, was an immense privilege. Compassion is a, an orchestral song cycle, a voice and orchestra, which I co-wrote with Nigel Westlake a few years ago. It features ancient proverbs in both Hebrew and Arabic, you know, taking beautiful old texts about compassion from two worlds that have had a tumultuous history over time and finding common ground and expressing the wisdom of compassion. Even though people may not necessarily understand the words, I think there's a, a feeling of uh, perhaps a universal spirituality, a, a coming together and, uh, and as I said, a, an expression of common ground, you know, in, in compassion. and. Um, I think maybe if it fills people's hearts with that feeling, then they can take that and hopefully it'll carry over into some action as well down the track. Stary Most means um, old bridge. And the particular bridge we're talking about is in Mostar, which is in Bosnia-Herzegovina. That bridge had stood for over 400 years. It was destroyed in the ethnic war uh, of in 1993 and rebuilt in 2004. And that's really when I came to hear of, of the story. I saw it on the, on the news in the UK. Everybody that we spoke to in Mostar considered the bridge to be not simply a piece of architecture, not something that you would cross, was a means of crossing from one side of the city to another, but a person in their lives. So the bridge sings itself into being in Starry Most. It tells its own story. I think we needed the voice of Mostar, but more universally of young people uh, as a, a metaphor of hope, as a symbol of hope for a city that has been fractured by the conflict. I get lots of opportunities to perform within my cause. But to do something like this outside of my cause really helps me to keep what I love alive and to really connect me to why I'm doing what I'm doing, you know, because why else would I be an artist if I wasn't trying to make positive change? I came onto the project when it was first conceived um, and it was actually part of a, um, a, a commission for a, a specialist music college. Um, and I met Richard during the rehearsals and heard the piece and it really caught my attention. When I heard they were rebuilding the bridge, I began to write to you. I set about putting together this 36 minute film, um, which is divided into the 13 songs. And those 13 songs have independent and different images for each of the songs. Um, and what I wanted to do was take some of the context, some of the story, some of the characters and weave them together into a rhythmic piece of filmmaking which would actually then tie into the rhythm of the music. The piece ends in a very hopeful place musically as well. It starts in a quite epic place at the beginning with the birth of the bridge and the mythology that surrounds that. Um, but it ends in a place of hope, I think a, a sort of, I would like to say a blaze of optimism. It started the kinds of conversations that I hope will continue. It's making a pathway for peace through art, which I think is the, the mandate of the artist. I remember standing on the bridge and watching the river as countless thousands, millions of people have done. And for me, it started to sound in a certain way. 
For me, the, 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 the melody that occurred to me was... The bridge says, and these are quite wonderful words, I am more than stone, I am every hand that touched me, I am every foot that touched me.